Hello friends, welcome back to my channel if you're returning and if you're new here, welcome. My name is Rachel and I am a reseller. So I buy liquidation and thrifted merchandise online and I sell it on sites like eBay, Poshmark and Mercari for a profit. This is my full-time business and I love coming on here and sharing what I'm getting in and what's selling. Today we are unboxing the Zara 40 piece mystery box from Helpsy Source. So if you want to see what comes in this box, definitely stick around. So I have to admit, I'm not a super big fan of Zara. It is fast fashion. Um, there's definitely some, I guess, controversy regarding their business practices and all that. And I choose really not to shop at Zara. I usually don't purchase Zara to thrift, like to pick up at thrift stores or whatever, but two things are true about this brand. Number one, some of their styles, although they pump out new styles all the time, some of them are made in like limited quantity and they sell out quickly. So there is a pretty substantial demand for certain pieces on the secondhand market. The other thing is Helpsy Source must get a lot of this brand because they always, always, always have this box available. So I decided to give it a try. I wanted to not only see what comes inside here, see if maybe some of these pieces will really um, surprise me, but the also, you know, I do a lot of unboxings on boxes I feel like that are not available. By the time I get them and I show you the, um, the video, the box has already sold out or maybe you go on there and it's not available. This box always seems to be available. So if you're a reseller, you're just starting out, you're looking for something that's maybe a little bit lower cost per piece on a brand that people really, really recognize and it seems like it's always available. I wanted to kind of point this one in your direction or at least see what's in here for for the sake of maybe somebody that's in that space. Let's go ahead and open this up. I haven't opened it yet. I haven't broken the seal on the tape. As with uh, most of my videos, as much as I possibly can, I like to not open the box until the camera is rolling so that we get to see together what's inside here. Um, this box is on the Helpsy website for $240. Now, I did just visit their warehouse recently and as kind of a thank you for me coming and, and speaking at their event, they gave me a 15% off code. I was able to use it for myself. They did extend the code out to my to my viewers. The first 25 of you that use code oh yeah 15 when you check out will get 15% off of your order. I don't know when you're gonna watch this video and I don't know how fast that is going to run out. So. If you're watching this and you want to order, run over there, try oh yeah 15 you might get 15% off. If the 15% off code does not work, I still have my 10% off affiliate code that will always work. That code is oh yeah and it's linked down below. But for the purpose of this video, it was 15% off. And so that's the price that I'm going to go on um, for this video. So $240 for the box for 40 pieces. For 15% off, that's $204 for 40 pieces, making my cost per piece $5.10. So let's go ahead and open it up. Got my scissors. And this is kind of a big box. It is a big box. The box is huge, but um, it's not like completely full. Like it's not as heavy as it looks. It's not jam packed. So um, interested to see what's in here. Again, I don't know much about the brand Zara. I don't actually know which like styles are the ones that are sought after. So let me know in the comments too as you're watching this. If you see something like really valuable or something you know is like a blogger favorite, you know, people, influencers will feature certain pieces and then they become more valuable. Um, let me know if you see anything like that because, you know, this is going to really take some research on my part too which is a good thing, this is how I learned, but uh, let's let's get into it. So, okay, so there's really, really nothing uh, jumping out at me. It's it's pretty typical of what I would expect to see, but let's just go through and, uh, and see what we get in here. This jumped out at me a little bit because of the fun pattern. Um, this is a extra small and it is a is this like a button front yeah it's so it's not but not buttoned up right now but this is a silky I mean I'm sure it's not actually silk but 
It's a silky button front blouse in a size extra small. And it looks good. I mean, condition wise, it looks really good. Um, I don't know what the resale value is. Like I said, I have a lot to learn when it comes to that. Um, this one is TRF Outerwear, which is their, tri and I don't know how to pronounce you guys, tri Trifolic? Trifolic? It's a spinoff. They have like um, Zara Basic, Zara TRF. Um, so I don't, I don't remember if this one is like higher end than the other ones. I, I'm not real sure. I think it's more like they're marketed toward different audience. Like one is marketed more towards juniors or something. So this is a little bomber jacket with some ruffles. Um, and it's a size small. This is, this feels like suede. Obviously it's not suede, but Zara basic size large. And this is a, um, faux suede. It's not really a sweater because it's suede, but it's like a, a layering piece, I guess it's like a shirt. It's a shirt, but it's long and open front for layering. Um, that'll be a fun one to try to write keywords on. Um, this one is Zara, regular Zara, and it's a ribbed turtleneck. It's not a sweater though. This is more like um, like a knit top. It's almost more like a heavy, heavyweight t-shirt, um, size medium. And I, I forgot to mention too, I, I'm probably not going to list all of this. Um, my goal is to triple my money on a secondhand box. So for me to spend 204, I really would want to make that back. Plus I want to um, make 204 back twice over in pure profit. I don't know what that looks like for this box. Um, if there are some P6 basics and things that I just don't feel like are worth my time listing, those might go to thread up or buy, sell, trade. Um, actually, maybe not even thread up. I don't know if thread up takes Zara, but some of this might go to buy, sell, trade because I think um, Zara is a good like Plato's Closet and Uptown Cheapskate brand. So we'll see. Here's some pants. These are the 2020 collection size extra small. And these are like dress pants. They're trousers, wide leg trousers. Um, they almost feel like wool, like wool career pants on the outside. They're probably not wool. Um, in my experience and just what I know of the company because it's fast fashion, they're not out there using high quality fabrics by any means. And actually these... I don't even see a fabric content tag in these. So, um, but my assumption is that they are not wool. Here's a little pop over top. Oh, I see the buttons are on the back. So this is actually the front. It's a cropped top. This is good as um, spring and summer roll around. Extra small. I mean, it's cute. That's cute. Um, okay, here's something white, also good for spring and summer, as long as it is clean. Um, this is a size small. Okay, so this is a button front top, but it's got like almost like a corset type. This, I mean, there's no boning in here, but it's got that kind of corset type look. Um, there is a little spot back here, I can see, but um, hopefully I can get that out. This is all secondhand stuff too, so if I needs to go through the wash, that's okay with me. Uh, size extra small. This is a cutoff denim vest. It's like a mint green. I think you can tell on the camera what color it is, but uh, it's it's like a light green. Oh, got some some bling here. Is this a dress? Oh, this is broken. Um, can I fix this? Is it broken? What is happening? I don't know what's happening. It must be broken because I think it would go, oh boy. Yeah, wait. Yeah, I think I think this is broken. I, <laughs> I can't really figure out. I think it's supposed to go, this strap 
is supposed to go where is the strap supposed to go i i don't even know where this is supposed to go i think here i think it's supposed to go like this and i don't know what it would attach to i mean okay um, so unless that is like some super sought after dress i'm not going to try to fix that um help C does say to expect up to 15 percent flaw rate so um part of their mission and i made a whole video about this which i can link down below part of their mission is to help keep uh, clothes out of landfills so even something with a minor flaw like that that in the right person's hands could easily fix that i'm probably not that person um, but they still do send up to 15 percent of the items in the box will have flaws so do keep that in mind i do expect that there will be some flawed items in here um, that's not going to surprise me um, so just so you know um, this is a blazer it's like a brown and black stripe blazer and it's a size small zara basic that might be a more significant piece um here's a dress so this is a yellow little mini dress it's got a smocked back and this is a size large that'll be nice for spring um this is a top a tube top maybe yeah i guess this is a tube top I bet you this is dated. You know why? Look at this tag. It's I have never seen a tag like that before. But it is the TRF. And it's plaid. It's smocked. I have a terrible time selling sleeveless things, strapless things. So we'll see about that. This is a size small skirt. Really, it's a, it's a skirt. There are shorts underneath. You can see. Yeah. Anyway, there's shorts underneath here. Uh, it's pleated. It's really cute. That seems like it's probably a little bit more timeless, a little bit more versatile than some of this stuff you would clearly only wear one time. Um, this is a vest. Like a vest shirt, shirt vest. I imagine you would wear this as it, on its own. I mean, I guess you could layer it, but um, it's probably meant to be worn as a shirt. Uh, size extra small. Here's a dress. Uh, is this a maxi? Yeah, this is a maxi dress. And so it's got a low neckline. It's long and flowy. Back up. Yeah, it's very, it's that goes to the floor. And then the back has these jewels on it. Um, this one is a size extra small. This is a sweater tank, roughly. That's pretty boho. It's like festival. I would tag festival in this one, size small. So it's a sweater, like a crochet, but it's a tank top. It's really lightweight. Here's more crochet. This is a size medium, and this is a cropped crochet, like wide sleeve sweater. Here's another skirt. I don't love selling skirts. This is a basic little pencil skirt, size medium. It's got belt loops on it. But who knows? Who knows? More black. This is a t-shirt. This is a very oversized, I'm, I'm assuming it's supposed to be oversized. Yeah, especially it's a size small. So it's a black boxy cropped t-shirt. It's a heavyweight t-shirt though. Ooh, sparkles. Oh, this one is NWT. See, this is what I mean though. It was $27 brand new. So I'm not gonna expect miracles here. Um, like I said, some of this stuff, though, really does hold its value um, depending on its popularity, how quickly it sold out. If some influencer or blogger went on and featured it, like, 
it's it's very Zara is like its own its own beast its own animal if you will so um, this is a, a shirt so I imagine it goes like this like this is the neckline here there's the sleeves and then it's ruched on the sides so it's meant to be like drapey and flowy size small here's another t-shirt this one has got a bit of wear but I kind of think just looking at it it probably like is meant to look like this because look at the neckline it's torn but it's torn in a very like laser cut like same amount of space in between all the way around the neckline sort of look so my guess is that this is actually not in bad condition it's just made to look that way this one's a size small Stuff like that, I'm going to have to look and see if it's worth listing because a t-shirt like that on its own, even if it's in good condition, probably isn't worth listing unless it's a special piece of some kind. This is a dress uh, size large. So this is a white uh, spaghetti strap ribbed dress. It's very stretchy and I imagine for a large is kind of small. It's like form fitting. So I'll have to actually check this over for stains but eh, it looks good it's a nice basic piece here's another sweater oh this is fun oh, oh it's two it's because it's two this is a medium again it's a crochet tank top so it's not super heavyweight it's got a nice flowy cropped rainbow pattern here's the other one that fell um this is also very this is so fun. I, I do love the pattern of this one. I'm not going to lie. That's super fun. And I feel like you could wear this a few different ways. Um, size medium on this one. By the way, if you see anything that you like, that you're interested in, my stores are linked down below. Um, yeah, this is a new adventure for me. So if you, if you, if you want to shop, definitely let me know. Okay. Here's some black skinny jeans. So Skinny jeans, not super exciting. However, um, these look like they're in really good condition. You know how like fast fashion jeans tend to, you know, they, they get puckered and stretched and worn out after they're worn only a couple times. These, they look really good. So they maybe either never were worn or maybe just once. So that's, we have that going for us. Um, these are dress pants. Zara woman size extra small. So looks these are wide leg um, like dress pants. They have a side zipper, no pockets, so they're really sleek. I imagine they're high rise. Yeah. Okay. Is this a swimsuit? This might be a bathing suit. Well, it's at least a bodysuit. I think it's a bodysuit because it's got um, it's got snaps in the crotch. I think with a swimsuit, it wouldn't have that. But it's a very stretchy, like, nylon piece. So I think it goes like this. Yeah, it's going to be like a one shoulder, but it's got the cutout on the side. This one's a size medium. I have to look into and see maybe if lotting some of the sizes up would be a good idea. I'm not sure. Feel free to comment your thoughts on that too. Um, you know, if, if it would make sense to lot some of this up by size. This is a real skimpy, lacy, Swiss dot printed. You see the dots, there you go. Um, tank top, size extra small. Yeah, extra small. This is a dress, I think, yeah. So this is a size small. It's a cold shoulder. Are we still doing the cold shoulder thing? I don't personally like cold shoulder because literally my shoulders get cold. Like if it's cool enough that I need the sleeves for the rest of my arm, then I also need the sleeve for my shoulder. But that's just me. I don't know if, if cold shoulder is still in right now or not, but this is black. It's like a black ribbed fit and flare. So. The, the ribbed and the like the mock neck I think is in right now so I'm not sure about that one <laughs> not sure what we're what we're going for there here's another dress this is a probably midi dress if I had to guess by the length 
yeah, this is going to hit like mid calf. And this is just a black long sleeve like t-shirt dress. Um, this is a size small. These are like dress pants with a tuxedo stripe down the side. I'll have to see about those two. I personally don't have a lot of luck with tuxedo stripes in general in any brand. So I don't know. We'll have to see. Um, this is also new with tag. Okay, so this one has an MSRP of 49. So that's exciting, a little more exciting. Um, this is a size small and it is a button front shirt. It's got like pearly buttons. So it's a button front blouse. Wow, that's a pretty pattern. Very interesting pattern, okay. Ooh, velvet. Oh, they always gotta hit me with the velvet. And this velvet is probably not getting listed because I can see already there's a hole in it. That's probably not supposed to be there. If you're new to my channel, I have a thing with velvet. I don't like the way it feels. And I always end up with velvet in my boxes because somebody knows I can't stand it. Um, this is Zara Collection, size small. And it is a velvet long sleeve shirt that I would re or dress that I'd rather not be touching. There is a hole in the sleeve, but the hole is on the seam. I'm gonna look and see if that's valuable. And if it is, I could probably sew that even though I don't sew. What am I saying? I am not gonna sew that. I don't take the time to sew things. I would love to, I just not enough time in the day. I, I just don't. Okay, here's another Zara woman. This is a black open front blazer. Yeah, I don't see any buttons on here. So this is an open front blazer. This has a nice weight to it. So that's good. A couple more pieces. This screams summer. Um, size small, cropped, like floral printed. Actually, it's not floral printed. It is fruit printed. It's a very vintagey fruit printed blouse. This is a crop top, uh, tube top, cropped tube top. It's puffy, ruffles and puffs, size extra small. It's got the smocked back. Hmm. Some dress pants in a size large. These are green and they are wide leg. Don't hate the style of these. They got the pleat down the front. Hmm. All right. So we've got some denim shorts, size six. These are a cut off button fly. They're rigid, they're probably cotton, I assume. Yeah, 100% cotton. They're definitely like kind of thin, but. Oh, what is, what do we have here? These are heavier. These are the boogie pant, size six. They're wide leg jeans, definitely a heavier weight. Although I think just by looking at these, it is possible, it is likely that these have been altered from their original. I don't know, they're still pretty long though. I might be able to list and disclose because they still come to the floor on me. So I'll have to see if those are worth selling because of the uh, alteration. This is the last thing in the box, guys. This is a tank top. Um... I think maybe it goes like this, I think. Because here's the tag, it's a size medium. So if it, 
Maybe it goes like this. Yeah, maybe it goes like this. And this is where your head goes. No. No. That's too small for someone's head and it's not stretchy. Maybe this way. So this is going to be where your neck sits and your arm. I don't know what this is. I don't know. I'm 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 not going to sit here and pretend like I know. Um, so I'll have to figure out what that one is. All right. Let me just go ahead and make sure there are 40 pieces here. Okay. Yeah, exactly 40 pieces. So um, as expected there, as far as my thoughts, um, you know, like I said, I'm not super familiar with Zara. So this will be a fun, interesting learning experience for me. I think overall the qualities there there were a couple pieces that had light flaws but that was to be expected I didn't get anything that was like super unusable um it looks like all this stuff is is fairly newer at least newer styles I didn't see anything except maybe that cold shoulder dress that I'm like okay yeah this is way out this is really old so that's good I think it's more current styles this one only time is going to tell. I'm going to have to get this stuff listed and figure out uh, what it's worth. And uh, I will come back 90 days later. Let me know what you think. If you have more experience with Zara, let me know what you think in the comments. I definitely am interested to know um, if you think I have anything that's worth a lot or that's significant. Let me know in the comments. Make sure you subscribe if you want to see the 90 day update. I will come back in 90 days and let you know how I did with this. Don't forget, if you want to shop on helpseesource.com, now is the time to do it with code OEF15. The first 25 people to use it will get 15% off their order. Um, and then if it, you watch this video, you try it, it doesn't work. It means 25 people have used it. So you can use code OEF for 10% off. Um, hit that like button on the way out if you have not already. That really does help out the channel. And that's it for today, friends. Thank you so much for watching. I will catch you next time.